HoloLens is up for pre-order, the Geneva Motor Show is almost here, and Sony has something up their sleeve. Today is Monday, February 29th, and I'm Mike Knows. So to start things off, Microsoft HoloLens is now available for pre-order. Unfortunately, for developers that qualify, those that apply to start building apps for the headset should now be getting an invitation from Microsoft, and the unit itself will set you back $3,000. There is still no consumer version available, so the rest of us will still have to wait. Those that are able to pre-order should expect it to ship March 30th. Jumping over to Apple, an earthquake of 6.4 on the Richter scale shook their main facility where they manufactured the A10 processor for their upcoming iPhone 7. Luckily, the machinery that they used to manufacture the chips were not damaged, but some orders will face delays up to 50 days. In the US, we've had Apple Pay for quite some time now, allowing payments to be made easier and in a safer way, but now it's going to arrive in the UK for the very first time. According to a post by 9to5Google, Apple Pay will arrive in the United Kingdom by the end of next month. And Amazon is working with a company by the name of Brita, or Brita to build and sell a Wi-Fi enabled pitcher that is smart enough to know how much water is flowing through the pitcher and it will even order new filters automatically when it feels like you can use one. Moving over to automotive news, French car maker Bugatti is going to show off their world's fastest production car tomorrow at the Geneva Motor Show. Their new car sports a 8 liter W16 engine that can take the vehicle from 0 to 60 in under 2.5 seconds with a top speed of 260 miles per hour. Only 500 of them will be made and one third of them are already called for by Bugatti's loyal customers. Many other cars are waiting to be seen at the auto show including Tesla's Model 3, the F-Type SVR and the 911R. What would you like to see at the Geneva Motor Show? Comment down below. Australian car maker Holden wants to show everyone that they are leaders in design and technology in the automotive industry, so they built this, the Opel GT concept car, which is a light two-door sports car that's made to compete against the ever-so-famous Toyota 86. The Opel GT will be shown off this year at the Geneva Auto Salon in Australia. And Austin Martin released a video teasing their new DB11 that will also be unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show. Finally, in gaming news, Sony filed a patent which gives us an idea of what Sony plans to do with their VR platform. Sony Computer Entertainment filed a patent for a glove that would be able to interact with objects in a virtual world. The glove looks very close to the Nintendo Power Glove, at least in the sketches. And as you can imagine, that opens up many possibilities for the company for VR. So we'll just have to wait and see what Sony is planning to do. A company by the name of Utomic began beta testing their streaming service. There's a monthly subscription where you pay $10 a month and you'd be able to stream any of their 145 games. But during the beta period, you get the first two weeks free and then you'll have to pay $5.99 for unlimited streaming. Also, the PlayStation TV is no longer being shipped in Japan. After being launched back in 2013, the entertainment company decided to stop shipping the micro consoles. You can still find the system being sold out there, just in limited quantities. Sources for today's stories will be in the description. Leave a like if you would like to see more videos like this and subscribe so that you never miss a video.